This is a book that is meant for people who are beginners and don't know any logic. Now, it is an old book, so it is not going to be as easy as a lot of the more perhaps modern books, but it does have a wealth of knowledge and you can use it to learn. And I don't know if it's still in print. It was written by Patrick Supps, Introduction to Logic, the University Series in Undergraduate Mathematics. Really, really beautiful book. It's a hardcover. Van Nostrand. Yeah, wow. Wow, what a book. Let's go ahead and open it up and take a look inside this book so you can see what it contains. Looks like someone wrote in it long ago. Perhaps something about office hours. Friday, 12 to 1. Hmm. I wonder who used this book and how they did in the course and where they are today, right? You never know. So much history in these old books. Introduction to Logic by Patrick Supps, Associate Professor of Philosophy, Stanford University. So this was a professor of philosophy, not a mathematics professor, right? So not what you would expect. And then here are the editors, John L. Kelly and Paul Halmos. Wow, that was a legendary mathematician. He wrote several books. And then here it talks a little bit about Paul's book, Finite Dimensional Vector Spaces. I also have that one. Additional titles will be listed and announced as published, a series of distinguished texts for undergraduate mathematics. Yeah. So they published all kinds of really cool books. And this one was published in 1957 by, again, D. Van Nostrand Company. Pretty cool. First published May 1957, reprinted. January 1958. Oh, there's something really cool over here. I want to show you. I hate to interrupt the video, but I have to show you something really cool. Apparently, this deer also wants to learn some mathematical logic. So it just kind of showed up here as I was making this video. So I thought I would take this opportunity to show you a random deer. Just a random deer in this random math video about a math book on logic. I think it might know some logic. Maybe it can do truth tables. Or maybe not. Take a look at the preface. This book has been written primarily to serve as a textbook for a first course in modern logic. No background in mathematics or philosophy is supposed. My main objective has been to familiarize the reader with an exact and complete theory of logical inference and to show how it may be used in mathematics and the empirical sciences. Since several books already available have aims closely related to the one just stated, it may be well to mention the major distinguishing features of the present books. It talks about the differences of this book versus uh, other books. And he was in Stanford, California, April 1957. Patrick Supps, a long time ago. So here's the contents. So you can get a look at what it contains. And it's just basically all the basic stuff uh, in logic. So if you're a math major, there are courses available at your university probably where you can learn logic. There are courses that are required usually before you take you know, advanced calculus, abstract algebra. You learn about logic. I actually took an entire course on logic long ago and not using this book. Uh, this book was uh, you know, used way, way back when, right? Probably the 60s, late 50s. Here's some more topics and then Here's the introduction. Our everyday use of language is vague and our everyday level of thinking is often muddled. One of the main purposes of this book is to introduce you to a way of thinking that encourages carefulness and precision. There are many ways to learn how to use language and ideas precisely. Our approach shall be through a study of logic. Yes, it's a book on logic. One of the things about logic is that it is its own subject, right? And I think it's really cool again that um, a philosophy professor is the person who actually wrote this book. Um, most logic books that I have are written by mathematicians. So this is very different uh, in that regard. And it goes through and teaches you just the basic stuff that you need to know. Like, you know, P only if Q, Q if P, Q provided that P, uh, P is sufficient, it's a sufficient condition for Q, and Q is a necessary condition for P. So all of that means the same thing. This is the implication. P implies Q. Super important stuff here. Very useful to know how to prove statements like that. You know, if something, then something else. How do you prove that? And 
you know, how do you use logic to prove the contrapositive? How do you use logic to do a proof by contradiction? So logic is important, even in higher level mathematics, uh, the delicacies, the intricacies of logic and how it works are critical for negating complex statements and definitions and being able to prove things. Having a strong command of logic will help you. And even after you learn logic, um, you still have to kind of go back and refresh your skills. So it's good to have a book like this. This is pretty cool. You can see here that the person who used this before me really took some time and typically what happens in books, by the way, is you see like a lot of work at the beginning of the book like this. People will like work through it. And then as the book progresses, uh, you see less and less writing. This person had like little pieces of, of tape here, like little little things here. So it looks like, they, looks like they kept up with it. If you look here, you can see that there's little markers here. And I don't know what that is. It's like a piece of tape or, or something, but they made it pretty far. They made it pretty far in the book. And logic isn't necessarily uh, challenging uh, or super difficult. I mean, it can be, but um, again, this is a, an intro subject for people who want to get started with logic. So uh, one of the cons of this book is that I believe it does not have answers to the exercises. Um, so there's no answers. So you can't really check your work. A pro might be that you might be able to get a used copy really cheap because I feel like this is one of those unknown books that uh, people don't really, you know, go out and rush to buy, right? Um, math books aren't really super popular. Um, there's not that many people that, you know, do math for fun, I think, and buy math books or collect math books like, like I do and maybe you do as well. So a lot of times you can get really good deals on books like this. I'll try to leave a link in the description in case you want to check this book out. I'll try to find some used copies uh, on the internet uh, in case you want to uh, look at them. But yeah, it's a book on logic. It will teach you the basics of logic, teach you about quantifiers, you know, for all there exists, the universal and the existential quantifier. I got to smell it. I got to give it a whiff. Sorry. Just, ah, it smells so good. What an incredible, incredibly wonderful smell. But this is something that you can learn, self-study on your own. And the prereq is nothing. So you can actually start with this. You know, obviously it helps if you had some mathematics, but you could in theory just start with a book like this and, and start learning um, some mathematical logic. If you want to learn mathematics, I do actually have math courses. They're on my website, freemathvids.com or mathsorcerer.com. They're actually on the Udemy platform. So it's like a reputable place to have courses. But if you get them, please use the links from my website as it helps me greatly. Otherwise, Udemy takes a huge cut. So yeah, I have courses on algebra, um, calculus, differential equations. I have some proof writing stuff that, you know, obviously the proofs all use logic. Uh, I have uh, abstract algebra and a bunch of other uh, courses that you can check out. And I've lowered the price to set the price uh, as low as possible. So I set it as low as possible. So if you click the links through my website, you should be able to get uh, a low price. And as always, if you found any value in this content at all, uh, feel free to subscribe if you want to. If not, that's okay too. The main takeaway you should take away from this video is that logic is a subject that you can actually learn on your own and it doesn't really require any prereqs, right? As the book states, this does not require any prereq, right? No background in mathematics or philosophy is supposed. So you need zero knowledge. You can learn logic from the ground up with zero knowledge. And you can use a book like this to do it in theory. Now it's not gonna be super easy, um, but you'll learn a lot, right? The, the knowledge you can learn even just from half an hour a day of sitting down with a book like this is priceless. You just, you just can't put, I mean, it's just so good. Wow, what a book, right? And these old books, the best thing about these old books is that you can smell them. <laughs> so, oh, oh, you can smell them when you get stuck. Maybe it'll give you some inspiration. No, I'm not saying you should smell the books. Some people have been saying that I shouldn't because uh, it's not good for you. But yeah, until next time, good luck, take care, and keep doing mathematics.